Hello, this is Sunil. In this video, I'm going to show how to convert a CSV file to a parquet file format. I've downloaded a sales.csv file from the internet which is around 180 MB. I've shipped that file to my ZAWS bucket which was created in my earlier videos. If you want to know how to ship a file from local laptop or desktop to an AWS S3, you can watch one of my earlier videos on the channel. So I'm going to use AWS Athena to convert my CSV file to Parquet file. So after shipping my file to ZAWS bucket, I've created two different folders. One for holding the CSV file, the other one is for holding the Parquet files after the conversion. So I'm going to show that to you. So here is my CSV file and folder and here is my sales Parquet folder. So I'm going to AWS Athena DB and I'm going to create an external table on top of the CSV file. If you look at the screen, here is my DDL. So I've already created a table with this DDL and each column is defined as a string column for simplicity and with the setup properties as a CSV setup and separ column separated by comma and the location of the CSV file is ZAWS sales CSV folder. Let's go ahead and execute it. All right, once a table is created, we can query the table to see the sample rows. I'm going to retrieve only the top 100 rows. There you go. These are my sample 100 rows. The data looks good. Once the data is available in CSV table, I'm going to create another table which is going to store the data in Parquet file format. So let's go ahead and create one more table with the similar DDL with the same column names and same column data types but storing the data in Parquet format. The only difference between the top DDL and the bottom DDL is the setup properties and the location of the table. I would like to highlight one more point here. I've used compression called snappy to compress my parquet files. Okay, let's go ahead and create one more external table with parquet file format. And why is an external table all the time? Remember, AWS Athena supports only the external tables. There is no concept of internal tables in AWS Athena DB. That's the major difference between a Hive and AWS Athena DB. So once a table is created, you can go ahead and query the table to see if there is any data existing in the table. Ideally, it doesn't exist anything. I'm just making sure that I haven't dumped any data in that folder in the in the previous run. Now I'm going to insert the data into my parquet file. CSV table. So once this is executed, I should be able to see data in my parquet table. So it says the above statement is completed. So I'm going to query my parquet file and I'm going to retrieve only 100 rows out of it. Okay, here is my top 100 rows coming out of my parquet table. And now go back to S3 folder location especially to sales parquet folder and then try to refresh the browser. You could see three files created and these are parquet files and those are compressed to almost 61 MB or around 62 MB. The original file size was 180 MB and it is shipped compressed to 62 MB. Great, we have successfully converted a CSV file to a parquet file format. The main objective of this video is not to just convert a CSV file to a parquet file but also to test the performance. I'm going to write a simple aggregation on one of the columns in each CSV and parquet table. I'm going to write my query as select sum of total revenue as total revenue from FC sales CSV table. Since I've declared this column as a string at the beginning of uh, table creation, I'm going to cast this as decimal. I'm not going to specify any scale or precision. And I'm going to execute the query to see how much time it took to retrieve the data. Okay, it took 4.66 seconds to retrieve the results. And also it scanned 179.36 MB. Now let's write a similar query on parquet table.
okay it took only 2.37 seconds to retrieve the data and it scanned only 12.81 MB to retrieve the data so it is much faster parquet file format is much faster than the CSV also if you're writing queries on databases like Athena and Snowflake it is very cost optimized to keep the data in parquet file format because your queries will be calculated based on compute time and also the amount of data that is scanned to retrieve the results. This is Sunil Desanchu. Thank you for watching my video.